What's going on guys? I am just coming at you with a quick little video on what I'm currently taking supplement wise. Um, just wanted to show you guys a few different things um, and these are mainly going to be at least for the next month and a half or so. Um, and then once I start cutting this will probably change just a little bit. Uh, but not too much really. These are pretty standard supplements that I usually like to take. Um, this first one I'm going to be showing you is not one that I normally get. Um, if you guys have watched my videos, back at the Olympia, I actually bought this one, which is called Carnagen by Evogen, um, and this one has caffeine in it. This is an 80 serving little container, mango lemonade, um, has 100 milligrams of caffeine. It's actually pretty good as far as like a caffeine source goes, um, but as far as what they claim it's there to do, um, it's not, which I knew when I bought it, it wasn't going to be, but it was 20 bucks for 80 servings, so I figured why not. It's a good little pick-me-up when I need some extra caffeine. Um, they claim that this is supposed to help turn fat into energy, which again, I knew right off the bat that that's not true. Um, but like I said, figured I would give it a shot. The scoop is really small and um, still good. I just have a lot left, um, or I still have a lot left, and you keep this refrigerated, which is kind of weird, but that's the first one out of the way. The next one, this is something that I will probably be taking basically from now on, um, is the Jay Cutler Amino Pump. Um, I really, really like this product, and right now it's on sale for 20 bucks on Jay Cutler's website, um, cutlerathletics.com. Um, I bought these on bodybuilding.com. This one is the blue lemonade flavor. They actually only had two flavors, blue lemonade and uh, fruit punch. But I really like this product. Um, it works as an amino, obviously, and then a pump product. So I drink it kind of in between exercises at the gym. Um, it has creatine in it as well, which is good. And so does my pre-workout that I usually take. Therefore, I don't actually take any extra creatine. Um, I usually just get it from the supplements I'm taking during the day. On to the next, my favorite, you guys know if you followed me long enough, is Amino Energy. Um, this is my last container I have, the pineapple flavor I like a lot, um, and I gotta buy some more. But pineapple and strawberry lime are definitely my favorites on this, and then I still have a peach lemonade that's at my office that I use as just to pick me up. Um, that's what I like about this product so much though, is that, um, as you guys can see right here, hopefully you can see that, uh, depending on the amount of scoops, you can kind of use it for different things. So. The mild dose, um, it says, you know, AM workout, and then you can have the moderate dose and extreme dose or intense dose, which, so AM workout, pre-workout energy, post-workout recovery, afternoon pick-me-up. I use that for all of these. <laughs> um, I really do like using that as an afternoon pick-me-up, especially at work. That's why I have a container at my office is just because if I'm ever, you know, starting to drag a little bit, just take a scoop or two of this and I'm good to go. Uh, 50 milligrams per scoop of caffeine as well, so really not too bad. On to the next. This one is a newer one. Um, this isn't something that I normally try, and I probably won't be buying it. Um, but I did get this for free, which is by Nutrex Research Labs. Um, it's called Outlift. It's their pre-workout. And it is a good product. I'm, not, I'm definitely happy with it. Um, I bought... No, I didn't buy it, sorry. <laughs> my friend Nick won an Instagram contest. You guys have seen Nick in my videos. Uh, Nick won an Instagram contest, and the person sent him this pre-workout and then a couple other things, but he does not take pre-workout in the mornings. It doesn't really cooperate with him, so he just said, hey, do you want this? I'm like, heck yeah. So as far as flavor goes, Miami Vice, that is a good flavor. You can definitely taste it. It's super tropical. It has like coconut, pineapple, strawberry, orange, and cherries, it looks like. Um, one scoop, the scoop is freaking huge for a pre-workout scoop. Look at that, how big that thing is. Let me put it in comparison. This is how big pre-workout scoops normally are. Look at that. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah, overall taste is really good on that. Um, it does have that for that whole scoop. It has 350 milligrams of caffeine, which is too much for me. If I take over like 200 in a sitting, then I end up feeling nauseous. So I've just been taking a half a scoop, which is good because this whole container right here is only 25 servings. So if I only take a half a scoop, it bumps it up to 50 servings. Um, I'm not sure the price on this normally. I'm going to go ahead and guess it's probably about 30 bucks, just like most pre-workouts are. Um, but yeah, pretty good product there. And last but not least, as far as supplements go, I've already showed you guys this. 
my gold standard optimum nutrition whey. I buy the big six pound bag at Costco, 6.35 pounds actually. Um, buy that at Costco, that lasts me a um, little over a month, about a month and a half or so. Um, and then I'll either buy another bag or I buy um, another type of protein. But this, for the most part, this is the best bang for your buck. And I actually got this bag. Um, normally they're $60 for a bag. And I got this one for 45. They were having a friggin' awesome sale, and I'm pissed that I didn't buy more. <laughs> uh, but anyways, that's just kind of a brief overview on what I'm taking supplement-wise, just in case any of you guys are curious. If you guys have any questions on supplements, definitely let me know as well. Um, I've done a lot of research on supplements. I've, you know, been doing this for quite a while. Um, been personal training, things like that. Um, and so I like to think that I know a decent amount about what I'm talking about, but. Um, I definitely like to help people out. That's what this channel is here for. Um, I do it as entertainment value for, you know, first you guys and then second for myself. I do like editing videos and doing all that. Um, but I also just like the aspect of helping people out, especially when it comes to fitness. I could talk about fitness all day long. Um, it's something that I'm super passionate about. So if you guys have questions, let me know. Otherwise, that's going to conclude this video and we will catch you guys in the next one.